Turning back to our excessive heat, there are now 438 deaths under investigation in Maricopa County as possibly being heat related. Now that is 40 below this time last year, but that still means that hundreds of people are suffering in heat wave after heat wave. 12 News journalist William Pitts talked to Arizona's chief heat officer about whether the state's heat plan is working. The summer started off brutal. By July 18th, there were double the number of deaths under investigation than that time last year. What did you think when you saw those numbers? Well, you know, I really looked at what we were dealing with. We saw our first 100 degree weather day back in April. Dr. Eugene LaVar is Arizona's chief heat officer. He's been on the job since March, just in time to implement the state's extreme heat preparedness plan. The plan is mostly organizational, coordinating agencies, looking at data, making LaVar the CEO of heat because it really takes a village to move forward with these efforts, and we all need to work together. According to Maricopa County's heat numbers, most people who die indoors of heat-related causes have air conditioning, but it's either broken or turned off. But the vast majority of people who die of heat die outdoors. Poverty and homelessness. Yes. Those are arguably two of the biggest contributors to death from heat. Yes, and we see those identified within the plan and things that we can do to start preparing and having some of those conversations. Meaning programs that can help. DHS doesn't implement them, but it can help coordinate people who can get the word out. Like Mesa's air conditioning loaner program. They'll give people portable air conditioners if their AC is broken. Getting the awareness out there is really something that we need to work on. But in the last two weeks, something happened. The heat death numbers drop off severely and temperatures didn't. What happened? What worked in the last two weeks? You know, I think it's one of those things when you're looking at preliminary data. Is that how it's going to stay? Because it may change in two weeks or two months, depending on what happens with those investigated cases that Maricopa County is looking at. So those numbers may change later on. But LaVar says this is the first year of the heat plan, and the plan is all about learning from the past. Is it unrealistic to think that there will never be any heat-related deaths in Phoenix during the summer? I think we all want to drive to a number of zero. Will it happen immediately? No. William Pitts, 12 News. All right, well, thank you.